Do you want to buy the most fashionable cloth or electronic devices with the state-of-the-art technology? You better pray for the peace and safety of the ocean. That's right, I'm talking about the South China Sea. It is located to the south of mainland China as an important sea area linking the Pacific and the Indian Ocean. China was the first to discover and name the Nansha Island. Since the Tang Dynasty, China has long exercised jurisdiction over the Nansha Island throughout several administrations. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, China has affirmed the jurisdiction of its sovereignty over the Nansha Island with the island marked on the authoritative maps. In 1947, a dotted line was printed in China's official map encircling the four main island groups in order to reiterate and reaffirm China's sovereignty and related rights in the South China Sea. It's one of the most important and busiest shipping lanes over the planet, with over 40% of the freight from the globe passing through this area. The number of oil tankers entering the South China Sea through the Strait of Malacca is three times as high as Suez Canals and five times as high as Panama Canals. There are over 85% of the petroleum importation of China, Japan, Republic of Korea, and many other countries passing through this area every year. 90% of various raw materials imported by the U.S. from the Asia-Pacific region are also shipped through the South China Sea lanes. An old Chinese saying reads, Harmony brings wealth, meaning the growth of business always comes along with a harmonious and healthy relationship between business pals. China has made various efforts in an attempt to better ensure the safety and freedom of the shipping route. Specifically, China constructed plenty of civil facilities and infrastructures on the South China Sea Islands. China established a China ASEAN Maritime Cooperation Fund, which has provided funding to more than over 40 projects so far. China proposed to establish the precautious measures of marine risk management and control, as well as two hotlines. However, the United States, a powerful nation far away from this region, has been actively engaged in the South China Sea, backing the Philippines in the arbitration case enhancing patrols near China's insular features, conducting reconnaissance in waters within China's jurisdiction. All these have escalated attention in this region. Although all the countries bordering South China Sea are developing countries, we firmly believe we're capable of protecting and maintaining the security and freedom of the South China Sea. The sea is tremendously important to both China and the neighboring countries, and China's position regarding such issue has been clear and consistent. We firmly uphold China's sovereignty and maritime rights over the South China Sea and spare no efforts in maintaining regional peace. China will continue to implement the policy of shelving differences while seeking joint development in the South Sea area as long as no further serious threat emerges in the region.